welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video and it's going to be on my OnlyFans account. So I just started it on August 1st. Like everyone else, I was curious how much money I could make and what I'd be comfortable selling. So I watched a lot of videos and followed a few girls and decided to give it a try. So like I said, I made it on August 1st. And the very first day I posted it and I only advertised on my Instagram. That's all I have. It's the only way I've been advertising up till now. So the first day I got five subscribers and it was really, really exciting. I guess I should also mention that I put my subscription price at $18. This is US dollars and OnlyFans does take 20%. So the first day I got five subscribers, which was really exciting. And then day two, I got another four. And then day three was one. Day four was one. Day five was none. Then day six was two. And then day seven was another two for a total of 15 subscribers in my first week. So my in my first week, I grossed $577 US. And that leaves me after OnlyFans takes their 20% at $461.60. And I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was really, really excited about that and couldn't wait to keep going. Um, I did sell some custom content. I do post nudes and implied and stuff like that. So I do go pretty far. I'm not just in lingerie. I'm also active every day and post multiple times a day. I reply to my DMs quite frequently and I've built some great relationships with some people. Some people prefer to chat, others will just wanna pay the subscription price and just look at your pictures and they don't wanna buy anything else, which is fine too. Um, I've been at it for almost a month now, so I will give an update at the very end of the month letting you know how I finished for the month. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit of stats. So my subscriptions, like I said, are 1440 to me. So in the first week with my 15 subscriptions, that brought me in $201.60. Then in tips, I got another $164. And then the custom content, which is in the messages, was another $96. So I don't charge to chat back and forth. Some... Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit how the money works. It goes into your statement. You can see exactly how much you've made off of every single person and every single person that's bought, it'll all go into your notifications. But the money then goes into a pending balance account, which you cannot access until it's been released into your available funds account. So after seven days, anything that's pending becomes available. So every day after seven days, your balance will just go up as the days go on. And then after a certain amount of money, you're able to make a withdrawal. So I'm in Canada and I have to use the SWIFT transfer. So I have to wait for my minimum balance to be $200 before I'm able to even make a withdrawal. So I haven't made a withdrawal yet but we'll jump ahead a little bit. So I'm a little over three weeks in and on Friday, I noticed that I had um, a withdrawal. I had only 40 cents left in my primary account, which was funds available. And I noticed that somebody had made a withdrawal and it wasn't me. So I looked and somebody had made a withdrawal of $914 and they withdrew it from a Skrill account, which I don't have. So I don't think it's a scam. I think somebody hacked into my account and made the withdrawal because the funds were available. I was really just letting the money pile up till the end of the month and then I could see you know, where I was at and I was just kind of watching. I wasn't in a big rush for the money or anything like that and so somebody took every single cent that was available except for 40 cents. So $914 was withdrew and it went to a Skrill account.
from an email address that doesn't belong to me. And so I've been waiting to hear back from OnlyFans about getting reimbursed for that money or them possibly putting a stop on the transfer or I don't know. There's no phone number, so the customer service is super slow and I've messaged them on Instagram. I've messaged them through the support on the OnlyFans website. I've messaged them through support on Twitter. I had to make a Twitter account to do it. And um, I haven't really heard back a whole lot. I've also contacted Skrill, who sent it through to their security department. So I will keep you posted on whether I get my $914 back. Oof. It's a tough pill to swallow in your first month, but there's also another um, security feature on the account that I didn't have enabled. So I've since enabled the two-step process, which makes me download another app. Then you have to put in a code and it'll only save it for a maximum of 30 days. Then you get a new code from the app to put it back in to access your OnlyFans account once more. So I will keep you posted on that. It was really, really crappy. It happened on a Friday right before the weekend and I was just super stressed and frustrated and annoyed and then the lack of customer service made it even worse. <laughs> but since there hasn't been any more, like I don't have any update on that. I'll just keep you posted. Just something to be aware of. Make sure you're taking all the precautions. Make sure your password is strong. Enable that two-step authenticator that they have on the website and make sure it's it's secure. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm excited to share the end of the month. But like I said, I feel like I did pretty well for the first week. I was really shocked. I wasn't sure how many people I would have subscribed. So my only means of advertising is Instagram. I do not have, well, up until a few days ago, I didn't have Twitter. I don't use Facebook. I don't use Snapchat. So everything, every subscriber has come from Instagram. Um, I've just made a few stories saying, you know, okay, I ran a storage space on my phone. All cleared up now. So a few of the things that I offer are custom content so they can request whether I decide to do it or, you know, maybe it's something that I would never do. You know, you decide as it comes up. I'll send out mass messages with maybe select nudes or maybe a video or something that doesn't go up on the feed. So I don't post any pictures below the waist on the feed. Those are all pay-per-view messages. And another thing I offer is one-on-one -on -one online date nights. So these are virtual only. There's no FaceTime, it's strictly texting and I'll run them for 45 minutes and people will book in. Sometimes they'll book in twice a week, which is pretty great. And then of course I get the feet pics, which is another super easy one. I love doing feet pics. I'll take pictures of my feet all day. You wanna pay for them. Um, and then as kind of like a perk where I do have a decently high subscription price at $18, I feel like I feel like it's not too high, people are paying it, but I feel like it's higher than than most. Um, so that's why a lot of the DMs are included, but I don't sit there and I message back and forth all day, every day. I will maybe respond, you know, a couple of times here or there. I have one, one subscriber in particular that buys everything I send out and is just, he always tips and stuff like that. So I'll chat with him a little bit more. Maybe I'll send him some sneak peeks of pictures that I'm posting up on my feed before they go up, just as kind of like a, you know, make him feel a little bit special, let him know that I appreciate his support and uh, stuff like that. But besides that, it's just a few messages here or there. If they want to talk to me lots or if they want to sex back and forth, then that is a date night and you need to pay for it. <laughs> so as part of my date night, I do offer a picture. So where it's virtual, we do like a little bit of role playing where they tell me where they're gonna take me. 
and I will dress for the occasion and send them a picture. So it's nothing nude or anything like that. It's literally how I would dress for the date, depending on the location. I'm active quite a bit on there, especially since I'm just starting out and I really wanted to grow my audience and make sure that people stuck around, that they also felt that the $18 was worth it. Try to keep them, you know, subbed for next month. You know, it's not just a, a one month kind of thing. You know, I want them to stay long term. Okay, so stay tuned for my one month update. It'll be out within the next week as the month is coming to the end. I will tell you how many subscribers I ended up with, what my totals were. I will post up my statements so you can actually see what I made and where I made it. And yeah, stick along for my journey. I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, and I'll also tell you where I ended up um, percentage wise. Ow. Um, at the end of the month. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm at right now because I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better in the next few days, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching. One more thing I almost forgot. All of my links will be posted down below. So my OnlyFans, go subscribe. And my Instagram as well. Give me a follow, send me a message, say hi. And um, I look forward to updating you on the one month. If there's anything I didn't cover, any questions that you might have, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, anything you want me to cover in my one month that maybe I completely missed in the one week, also let me know. Anyways, comment, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Um. Totally not awkward or anything. Can you tell it's my first video?